Hey guys, and welcome back, and today we got some pretty interesting things to talk about today. Like, for instance, Hasm just did, like, some market manipulation. I don't even know how to begin to explain it, but it is definitely very interesting. And Roblox right now might be giving Robux to literally everybody. Uh, that's not even an understatement. Like, a ton of people just got this new message in their feed, and uh, we're gonna talk about all of that in just a second. But guys, before we get into any of that, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, because if you want to be up to date on the latest things going on in the Roblox community, you definitely won't regret subscribing and also you literally become an epic gamer so uh be subscribed but anyway so we have a lot of different things to talk about today a lot of definitely very interesting stories so uh, i just want to get straight into it so i think the very first story i want to talk about today is a new roblox game that recently came out it is uh hello neighbor i guess that's on roblox now or i i don't really understand what it fully is i i think it's like an off-brand kind of like hello neighbor game it's made by the same developers who did hello neighbor and uh, uh, a lot of people on Twitter are kind of clowning on it. I've seen a few posts on Twitter, like, making fun of the developers because I guess the developers are, like, uh, really cringe. I don't really know much about them or anything. But uh, it definitely seems interesting. This is, like, actually the first instance of, like, a pretty popular franchise coming to Roblox, like a gaming franchise. Well, I, I just realized I'm totally wrong on that. There's Sonic Simulator. Well, still, it, it's, like, one of the first actual, I guess, modern gaming franchises on Roblox. It seems interesting. I might play it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll leave it in the description if you guys do want to check it out. But, guys, I want to get on to the next story, which is about RDC. So, you guys might have seen a lot of RDC people have gotten their Roblox developer conference invitations and uh, a lot of people are actually really upset at this and um, they recently just imposed a brand new policy that makes it so you have to be 18 years old to actually attend RDC and uh, I've heard different opinions on both sides of this and uh, I do have to say it is very disappointing I actually know a few developers who are like extremely talented and very creative and uh, we're really looking forward to going and sadly they will not be going to RDC this year because it's this brand new policy and i just think it sucks i feel like they should have given a little bit more time so people would have known i feel like if they really wanted to do this what they should have done is made it so last year they would have been like this is the last year that people under the age of 18 are allowed at rdc to really give people the time to actually prepare for this and to be completely aware of this and uh i i don't know it, it definitely was very short-handed and a lot of people are very disappointed online about it but there's also another uh thing on this where people are saying this is a good thing which I do understand their point and I do understand where they're coming from. I personally don't fully agree with it, but the, the reason why they're saying that is because, you know, stuff was happening at RDC that really shouldn't have been happening at a convention based off of a kid's platform. Like, uh, dude, there, there was uh, this one dude who was talking about having a, a really uh, massive fun time with people uh, session at, at RDC, like at, at the hotels, which honestly, if that stuff is going down at RDC, I don't think kids should be there so um i mean i definitely understand where roblox is coming from in this case but i don't know i feel like the the best thing they could have done is just kick those people out from rdc which i actually do think they have done so i don't know it'll be very interesting to see what uh, what's going on about all of this because i know a lot of people are very disappointed in this news but um yeah we got even more news to talk about today and the next thing i want to talk about is what hasm did dude i cannot go a video without talking about mr please donate okay he did something pretty interesting uh that i do gotta give him like bro okay th this is hilarious so he made a roblox limited this limited costed ten thousand robux and i don't know what the supply was on it but um he ended up making the supply uh, the actual limited worth a million robux by buying a ton of them now um i i've thought about this a little bit this is like quite literally market manipulation is you know he's gonna purchase the hat from himself he's gonna be making a percentage on it and he's like driving up the value of the hat like dude if this was a stocks it would be totally illegal but this is like roblox currency so i don't even think it really matters but still it's just very funny that now roblox is having market manipulation and uh on top of that it, it is just hilarious to see that he drove a hat that was worth ten thousand robux all the way up to almost a million robux which is absolutely insane also something pretty cool with this roblox hat is it actually gives you a pretty awesome little feature in game where you can actually go ahead and press a button on your keyboard and it will go ahead and uh do a lightning strike and please donate which is pretty cool 
I do gotta say. And I honestly think that having limiteds, uh, where you can actually get an item in game with it, like it, I, I know I clowned a little bit on Pet Simulator X for all the limiteds they did, but I do like the idea of having limiteds where you know the limiteds actually give you something in game, like in certain games, which is just really cool. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I think it was really awesome. Hasm did that, and he drove the freaking price of his hat up an absolute ton. Uh, I, I've seen people raging on Twitter about it, but um, honestly, people just rage about anything on Twitter, so I don't even care. But um, yeah, it's definitely very cool, I do gotta say. But gamers, I'm gonna get into the last and final story of today, and uh, I'm kind of giving a lot of time to talk about this one, as it, this is something that really will require a little bit more of an explanation to it, uh, as a lot of people are very confused on this and uh, what this is. But if you uh, have bought a UGC item or an asset, like a shirt or something like that on Roblox, and it was taken down maybe a year or two ago, you might actually get some Robux back from Roblox. So uh, pretty much Roblox used to never refund people that uh, would get a content deleted item on Roblox. And a class action lawsuit went ahead and deemed that as an unethical practice. Now, uh, I think Roblox might have just settled. I don't think it was like, you know, they, they had to do this. But um, what they are now having to do is send a message to everyone, I believe, in the United States of America this message on Roblox and to pretty much summarize this whole thing Roblox has allocated 10 million dollars to the settlement and Roblox will be spending a ton of money giving back to people who are affected by this and uh, like I said about the content deleted hats and all that so if you had a hat or like a shirt or something like that and uh, you never got a refund or you did get a refund I'm pretty sure you're gonna just automatically get Robux back into your account so uh, yeah that's very cool uh, from my general understanding of reading this they're gonna give robux on top of that and if your hat or whatever was worth more than ten dollars you're gonna actually have the option to get cash from roblox which is just absolutely insane and uh how you can do that is there'll be a claim code on the top of your message that you get from roblox that you can go ahead and go to that website and then put the code into it and they'll actually give you real life cash which is definitely very interesting this is the first time roblox has had to do anything this drastic and um i gotta say it, it's actually pretty awesome that roblox is uh actually giving people their money back on this because you know that that really wasn't fair roblox shouldn't have just been taking items off of the site that people paid for and uh, just like not refunding them at all so uh yeah that that isn't happening anymore if you buy an item and it gets taken off of roblox uh you, you'll get a f like a full refund and um and on top of that they're gonna do right by their user base which is kind of cool to see and it's something you don't really see all that often in roblox but it was not because uh you know they they wanted to be nice it was because there was a class action lawsuit against them so uh yeah very interesting stuff um but if you want more information about that you can read through the message that roblox actually sent out to everybody but um yeah i think this is gonna be though where i end today's video a lot of very interesting stuff uh you guys want to go follow me over on twitter at real you guys can go follow me there but anyways gamers i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out guys